Have you ever noticed how some e-learning courses keep you engaged and motivated, while other e-learning courses can leave you ready to fall asleep or put your head through the screen? What's the difference? Both courses may follow similar well-established design processes, be supported by the same subject matter experts, and even built by the same developers, but one leaves you feeling confident and satisfied, while the other leaves you with unresolved questions or even feelings of frustration. The problem is what we refer to as a motivational challenge. And learning about the ARC's motivational model may hold the keys to your next e-learning success. Want to learn more? Oh good! That means it's working! ARCS stands for Attention, Relevance, Confidence, and Satisfaction. Attention is all about grabbing the learner's focus early on. Without it, learners can get burned. Relevance allows your learners to know why the content is important to them. If you've never been in a fire, it may be hard to imagine you'd ever need to know how to use a fire extinguisher. But you'll probably be better at using the fire extinguisher in an emergency if you've had some relevant experience. And once again, symbolically, we are helping learners not get burned. Confidence means the learner has enough experience to feel like he has mastered the skill. Hint. That usually involves some sort of practice using just the right mix of coaching along with a little challenge. And voila, things can really heat up or cool down in our analogy. Satisfaction is when the learner has had so much enjoyment from the activity that if she isn't jumping up and down, at least she's willing to come back and participate in the activity again. Think of this as the positive reinforcement one receives that keeps them coming back for more. And remember, no one that gets burned wants to come back for more. But just how do the best instructional designers use this ARCS model to consistently motivate their learners? Well, there's a little more to it than just knowing the acronym. The question for now is, do we have your attention? Is this relevant for you as a designer of learning? Are you feeling confident you can master this mighty motivational acronym? And are you satisfied yet curious enough to want to learn more?